Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, the Judicial View Show, brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Right, um, yesterday I went to Vape Jam, um, picked up a few bits and pieces. Um, personal films about Vape Jam yesterday. Um, numbers were down. Numbers appear to be down by quite a lot. There was a lot of empty... On one hand, it was actually good because you had plenty of room to move around. Um, even in the stage area where like the t-shirt throwouts happened, there wasn't the usual <laughs> riot size, massive heaving bodies around there trying to get t-shirts and hats. It, it, there was a few around there, but not anywhere near the degrees were seen in the past. On the actual what was there, as always as it is with these events now, there's loads of juice. Um, we anticipate there was going to be quite a bit in this one anyway, because it's like the last type expo type thing to happen just before the May the 20th kicks off. So we thought there'd be quite a few people trying to, oh, we need to get rid of our 30s, we need to get rid of our 100s, we need to get rid of our... anything over 10 mil, we need to dump off really quite quick. So we thought that was going to happen anyway. In the center of 8 Jam, there was an actual empty space which would normally have quite a big unit in it. It just had a few vendors around the edge of the square and a completely dead area in the centre. It just didn't quite have the buzz that we've had in previous years. A couple of the vendors were slightly rude. It always happens anyway. Maybe they'd had a bit too much of the old Sherbert on the night before because we all we all know what the after parties can be like. But yeah, that, oh, I just... The people, they say, because the numbers were down, it was good because you could get to speak to people. And unlike Expo, you could actually hear them. But, oh, it's just a bit... <sighs> Normally, I go for the two days. This is the first year I've only gone for one day. And to be fair, I didn't really need one day. I kind of got around everyone and spoke to everyone that I needed to and met some new people and got chatting with them as well. And I still had a couple of times where I just was like, mm, uh, uh, yeah, I've had enough now. Not a great year for Vape Jam, unfortunately. Um, did come, uh, I've got to say, most of the stuff I paid for, there was only like, a few freebies. I've got no problem with that whatsoever. You come, these people have spent a hell of a lot of money to come there to advertise their product. I've got no qualms, especially because most of them are doing so many good deals there. I've got no qualms about paying. But the occasional freebie is always nice. Um, the review of what I do today is from a company called Truly Vape. These are a new product on the market. Uh, I just will show you the box. Yeah, Truly Vape. Uh, if you can see at the bottom, get used to that thing at the bottom. This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. Oh, well, I know it's got to be on there, but we all know it's balls. That's not the most addictive part of a cigarette. A cigarette, funny enough, by its chemical compound, is designed to be addictive. Nicotine is not the villain. Just, I'm... Yeah, it does get my ass up a little bit on that one, but... Uh, has to be on there. Um, on here we have... Um, I'll just name the product again. And the ingredients and uh, use-by date. This uh, should be used by the 1st of April 2018. Uh, list of ingredients, which is vegetable glycerine, PG, passion fruit flavourings, pomegranate flavourings, nicotines. Uh, nicotine. <laughs> and we've got the batch number. I don't know if that's going to show up on there. Yeah, there we go. We've got the batch number at the bottom, which is good to see. And also we've got what this box contains, which is 3 times 10 millilitres. Another thing, we're all going to have to get used to it a little bit. Unless, of course, you go the old um, shake and fake nick shot. On this side... Yes, good to see. We've got the picture of warnings. Once again, uh, made in Malaysia. Uh, three times ten. Other information we've got on here is uh, we've got the physical address of Truly Vape. Uh, we've got a telephone number, so should there be any reason for you to contact the company about this product, you can get in contact with them. And the warning. Harmful if swallowed. Wash hands thoroughly after handling. Do not eat, drink, or smoke while using this product. Really? Because the amount of people who have a cigarette while having a beer... Uh, yeah, I know it's a lot of arse covering that's got to go on these boxes now, but that one does seem a bit weird. Uh, keep out the reach of children. Correct. If swallowed, call a doctor if feeling unwell. Rinse mouth. 
toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Avoid releasing to the environment. Collect spillages. Dispose of contents container in accordance with local regulations. Contains nicotine, and then we've got the EC number underneath that. So I'm more than happy with this box. Actually, I love the design of this box. This box is absolutely gorgeous with its colour scheme and not designed to imitate food or attract anyone under the age of 18. I, but I do like this box. But this box is really good. The attention to detail on the packaging is really, really good. So I say, we're opening that up there. And then you get that on the inside. 7030 Trudy Vapes. Established 2017. So then, you know, a little slap here. Let's lift that flap up. And the packaging is gorgeous. The, as I say, there's a lot of work that's gone into that packaging. It's not just going to be a basic box where they've dumped a leaflet. Yeah, I'll come to that in a minute. And three bottles of juice. The attention to detail is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, onto the bottles and the leaflet. Because this is going to be a new area now for me because I've never really had to do a review with one of these in it. I'll do the bottles first and I'll, I'll come on to that. So I, I generally have not had a look at this yet. So here we are, we've got the bottles. Loving the bottles again. There's a lovely, true, mature design on them bottles. And the information, we've got the warning on there again, which is the same as what was on the box. But two of the warning signs again. Warning of obviously for toxic and um, a danger to an environment, hazardous to the environment. Uh, we've got the ingredients, we've got the address again, not for sale for under 18s, USP grade used before 1st of the 4th, 2018. Great, and of course we've got the, 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 the two-tier tamper system and also safety system. We've got the tamper ring on the bottom there, and as you can see, that has been broken, so I've now opened it. Childproof lid, as you have to have as industry standard, and a little tactile triangle on the top. Now, I know there was arguments before about what strength you actually need the tactile triangle on. I think it should just be on all bottles that are not zero nick. should be on, because just for people with power, who are partially sighted, they can feel that and go, all right, I'm not to drink this, or I'm not to stick it in my eyes. As it's not an eye drop. So you, you kind of go, right, I've got to be a little bit careful. So I know there could be something in here that could make me slightly unwell, which is good. The three I've got to review today. When I find the boxes to get all the names again. There we are. We have got Pom Passion. Melon Berry. And last but not least, Grape Twist. All juices you see here today will be a free milligram, and they are a 70-30 VGPG blend. Um, other things I've got to state on here, obviously, because um, of the TPD. Yes, we have the at least 9.4 millimeter dripper. So you, you don't put a gallon in there at a time. <laughs> And the last bit on this, sorry this video will be a little bit longer just because of this to start off with. Over time, obviously, if I do any more reviews for this company, I won't have to do it. Um, we've got that. Which, which is what will, you'll be finding a version of this in every single box of juice you'll be getting from May the 20th. Warning for use of this product, please, <coughs> please familiar yourself with this leaflet. Instructions for use. The liquid inside refillable container is used for refilling electronic cigarette cartridges to tank. The refill container is secured with a childproof mechanism. To work with the container, first press the cap and then twist it counterclockwise. In order to refill the cartridge tank of an e-cig, place the nozzle of the container into the opening of the cartridge tank of an e oh, of an electronic cigarette and introduce. Ooh, the required amount of liquid by gently squeezing the bottle. When done, close the refill container by twisting the cap clockwise. Then we've got the the nozzle whip. Uh, addictive properties. Nicotine is a toxic substance. Nicotine is addictive. It's 
kind of got to be put in there, but I've already said that at the beginning. Uh, contradiction. This product should not be used during pregnancy and a lactation period. Anyone allergic to any ingredient in this product, individuals with lung disorders, or anyone suffering from a cardiovascular disease. Product may contain trace amounts of element of allergies in allergens. Oh, I do what I learned to speak this morning. If medical advice is needed, have product container or label to hand. And then we've got to have to store. This product should not be used by persons under the 18. Non-smokers. Keep the contents of this package in a dark, cool, and dry environment. Store out of reach of children and animals, and then the temperatures to store at. Possible adverse effects. It's basically like you know when you go to the doctors and you get any form of pills or medication now, and you this is just reading like this now. It is kind of the the the, the medical side of a product that was classed as non-medical. Dry mouth, dry throat, dry nose, headaches. Most of all, those three can be done by upping your water content. Uh, 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 um, intake, I mean. Uh, in case of additional virtual adverse effects, please email us. Well, I and visit your doctor. Well, I would have thought would be on that, but please email us at customercare at trulyvape.com, so then they can also look into it and update any information or sheets in the future if they have to. And then once again, we've got the address and all this lot. So yeah, um, a mixture toxicity according to the 1272-2008-EC, the product is not classified as who hazardous to human health. So you've got kind of a little bit of a contradiction there. So on one hand they're saying it's amazingly toxic, if you get on your skin you'll wash it off straight away, if you drink it you, you might need to see a doctor and all this stuff. And then on the other one it says it's not hazardous to health. <laughs> it's no pro uh, it's no fault of the company. It's all stuff that they have to put on, but and that's only from the obviously information they have been given themselves. But anyway, what's the juice like? Right, like I said, I'm going to start with the Pom Passion. My weapon of choice for today will be the Lassimo V80. I'm absolutely in love with this little device. It's small. It's packs a nice little punch to it, it's 80 watts and it's got an internal 2600 mile battery in it. So it's kind of now pushed aside for me the Nugget, the Mini Volt and all those other little handheld ones. I mean as you can see that, that's a diddy little device. Uh, and that wasn't a good example because I haven't put that much juice on there. But it, it does the job, so I'm going to be using that today. Um, Right then, on top I have of course got the Model M dual coiled to 0.42. Here we go. Now, I like passion fruit as a vape. It doesn't get used that much. Every now and then you, you'll see companies will go for a little run on passion fruit. As a general rule they kind of stay away from it. So I'll be interested to see what this one's like. All right, I'm going to start off at 32.7 watts. That equals 3.7 volts. So basically, what your what your ego pen will regularly pump out. At. Here we go. Oh. Low down. Um, the pomegranate comes out really well. It does activate right, uh -huh, right along that back row of the tongue. Not getting so much of the passion fruit. The passion fruit kind of lingers. So once that pomegranate dies down, you do get that nice passion fruit. I always find passion fruit a very deep, rich flavour. But I say uh, that you get this nice mouth water and pomegranate to start with. And that's still sitting there, right at the back. So every time my tongue's touching my mouth, that's activating that flavour again. It's making a little bit more moisture, it's just activating the flavour that's sitting there. Pomegranate, uh, the pomegranate. The passion fruit is more on the front, on the front edge. And like, and like the other one. As soon as that starts touching areas, you start getting that flavour again.
I'm liking the fact they haven't gone mad on the passion fruit flavour, because some companies will put a lot in there, and you do get a really deep flavour. That it, it kind of floods over other flavours. <clears throat> but this has been balanced out quite nice. As I say, inhale is that lovely pomegranate. Exhale, it's the passion fruit. And then you get the areas on the tongue where it just sits on afterwards, and the flavour still comes back every now and again, which is really, really nice. I'm going to go up to 4 volts. Which is now 38.2 watts on here. Wow. There is a right zing to the pomegranate when you first do it. Oh. Instantly makes the mouth water. It's really, really nice. The passion fruit comes in a lot quicker. That's kind of named like midway. It's initially like pomegranate, pomegranate. Passion fruit blends in with it, and then your exhale is the passion fruit. Oh. Just from the quick go, I mean, as you can see, I only just opened this bottle today. <clears throat> this would more than happy be an all day vape. I like my fruity stuff anyway, but. This has been done very, very well. As you can see, vapor production is superb. There's no fruit hit to this. Mind you, it's a 70 30. I was actually, and with the ingredients being used, I wasn't anticipating one. But the flavour leaves in your mouth is absolutely gorgeous. It's a real mouthwater. I'm absolutely loving that. Mm. Just could put a little bit more on. Then I've got up to 4.2. I've got a feeling this could be a juice that likes the power. I've got a feeling that if I go up too much, mind you, then the it will go the opposite way and the passion fruit will take over and then there'll be an element of the pomegranate at the back. I'll be fair, the pomegranate... Oh, what who was it? Lucas Aid. No, one lose it. No, scrap that. Um, <laughs> it's a Sunday morning, off to the vape jam, leave me be. Right, here we go, 4.2. Which is now 42.1 watts, or basically your full life on a mech battery. Oh. This juice craves power. This juice is a power haul. Um, 4.2 is an absolutely amazing flavour. Pomegranate passion fruit. Basically, it's a passionate pommy. <laughs> it's everything squeezed together. You get all the flavour, all in one hit there. And it is, it makes its own flavour. Every now and then you get a little bit of passion fruit pop out. And then you get, oh, oh no, pomegranate. Oh no, that's passion fruit. But the initial blast is just a pure blending of the two, and it's ho oh, oh. oh, I really can't rate that high enough. If you're a fan of passion fruit, if you're a fan of pomegranate, check out that one. Pom passion is gorgeous. Oh. Right, I'll have a quick blowout and then I shall go on to the next one. And the next one we'll be trying will be the melon berry. I don't know why I said it like that, but melon berry. Oh, I'm actually dry. That was quite good timing. There we go. Only thing is, however nice and however gorgeous this packaging is, it, and it is so professional, it just looks so good. We all know what's going to happen to all this, don't we? We're going to get our product home. The first time you get it, you're going to look at it and go, that's really kill, cool. I really like that. Second time you get it, you're going to open that, you're going to throw that. You're going to empty the juice out of that bit, you're going to throw that, and then you're going to transfer all these into a 30ml bottle, aren't you? Yeah, that's the one part of the TPD that really is pointless and doesn't work. I think it's just designed to be a pain in the arse. It's the same equivalent as when you go to a certain place, you go to a pharmacy or anything like this because you've got a headache, and you want, you want to buy it in tablets in like for the month. As we used to do, we used to buy big bottles of paracetamol, but now you can only buy 16. 
but you can buy two bosses, so you can buy 32, and apparently that's going to stop you overdosing, because it's not going to, because it's going to totally stop you going to the next pharmacy and getting another 32, so it, it, it doesn't work, it's pointless. But it, yeah, oh, it doesn't annoy me. Anyway, melon berry. Now this one on, on the, there it goes. This one on the side says it's a watermelon, strawberry, and kiwi. Now there, ha there has been a couple where kiwi's been starting to get introduced into this flavour because it used just to be water, basically stuff like Easy Does It and all this stuff from Ruthless. It used just to be watermelon and strawberry, and it was very nice. But now we've got kiwi in this as well, so I'll be interested to see what this is like. Right, we've got to go back down to three point seven. No, 32.6 watts. The strawberry is amazing. The straw. Oh. It comes across more of a starburst strawberry. And then you've got the elements of the watermelon... And the kiwi, it, everything I got in the first hit. But then you, every, at stages, all of a sudden you get, oh, we get a blast of strawberry coming out, or you get a blast of kiwi mixing in with it, and everything is playing very nicely with this juice. It's really nice. It's a very refreshing vape. Once again, nothing's really compete. No, nothing's competing against each other. They're in, like you're getting a blast of this, and it's muting out anything else. Even at low down, this one. Well, I feel this is going to be another one where certain flavors will get stronger as I go up. It's nice. I've got to admit, I prefer the Pom Passion. At the moment, but this has been done well. Right, we're going up to f four volts now, which is now thirty-eight point three watts. There's a slight fizz to this now. At this. Very much on the kiwi, uh, kiwi and watermelon inhale that I'm now getting. And then the strawberry's kind of been reserved now for an exhale. But then it blends in with what you've got in your mouth. So it's also it's nice there. So this is one where if you, if you want everything together, I'd go around about 3.7 volts. I'd keep it lowish. If you want to separate it out so you get more of a, a progression of flavours, then I'd go a bit higher out because it does, it, just going up that little bit there has separated out that strawberry to a kind of an end, but you've still got a kind of this fizzy kiwi watermelon taste on your tongue. Mm. That's really nice. Again, it's really, really nice. I know it's an overused adjective, but... Right, I'm going to go up to 42 watts, which is now 4.2 volts. Higher up that kiwi, if, when you can finally see, as you can see, cloud production is absolutely stonking for this. No throat hit as well. Higher up that kiwi really does shine through. I turned it to jump from wasp there, I don't quite know what happened there, but the kiwi just shines through. Then it's joined by the watermelon. Then you kind of got a watermelon strawberry ending to it. If any fan of fruity vapes, I'd definitely say Give that a go. Truly Vapes Melon Berry. That is potentially one of the best fruit ones I've had in a long while. And actually now, having that one higher up, Pom Passion kind of gets to a nearly a photo finish, but yeah, that's definitely Melon, melon Berry. I 
I could, oh, that, that's another one that's going to last me long. All right, anyway, I'll have a quick blowout, and then we'll move on to the last one, which is the Great Twist. One thing I do like about this dripper, <laughs> it holds a lot, but it's very easy to blow out. Right, here we go, Great Twist. Now, this one is advertised on the side as, and if I look for the ingredients, grape juice and double apple flavourings. Now, I like grape. I like grape a lot. Apparently, a few companies have been having trouble with their grape flavourings getting anywhere through the testing for the TPD, but this but uh, this company has got it through, as far as I... Uh, and, um, so there, there is a way of doing it, apparently, to all those ones who went and said it couldn't be done. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Go back. Go back to 32.6 watts. Here we go. No throat hit. Don't, I won't keep on going on about the clouds. You can quite happily see the actual vapor production. Flavor. I'm getting a lot of grape. I'm getting a lot of grape. I'm not getting a lot else at this at this level. I'll be fair with that second hit. I did get a bit more. I got quite a bit more of the apple on the second part. But it's quite a deep grape. It's quite a full-on deep grape taste to start off with. And then that kind of transforms into the double apple on the way out. It's pleasant, but I want to see what this does a little bit higher out. Because compared to the other two, it's not quite as standing out for what the flavour is. All right, we're going to go up to 38.2 watts again. Or 4 volts. Got a feeling this one is going to be like the last one. It's going to be a bit of a uh, power haul. Higher up, that grape comes through a lot stronger. It's a lot more just fills the mouth with flavour. And then the exhale, the apple has strengthened so much. Comes across like a pleasant squash. But one where you may not have had quite... <laughs> you might put just a little bit less water in than normal. And it's just a full flavour explosion of these two fruits in your mouth. Once again, it's really nice. This is one I could quite happily just sit down and chill out to. It's a very relaxing flavour. It doesn't make you go, Ooh, wow, there's a lot there. It's just really, really nice. It's just well put together. All right. I'm going to go up to 4.2. Uh, 42.2 watts. Actually, I might just put a little bit more on there. One thing I will... Oh, I hate that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, oh. You know these things. The amount of times when you do it and you forget yourself and then you go to drip and then you drop the thing in there. Yeah. Oh. It's me. It's just a little bugbear of mine. I'm just... Every time... The, I mean, it's my fault. All I've got to do is just remove the bloody thing. But no, no, I've got to leave it on. Then swear out as it falls into my dripper. Anyway, a bit of a tangent there, but carrying on. Right, we're going to go to 4.2 volts. Yeah, yeah, whack this one up. As you can see, I've totally vaporised myself off the screen. Right on there. Right there, that the scent of the bottom of your tongue. Wow, it's a, it's a very intense flavour now. If you like 
if you like this a bit more subtler, a bit more relaxed, go for about four volts. It's a lovely, almost like a first quenching type of flame. Is it, is it, is it something you'd go, do you know what, if I had that as a drink, I'd be more than happy. That's really, really nice. Higher up, it's a slap in the face. It's basically you're being pelted with grape and apple. It comes together a lot better. There's not as much separation. But the flavour is really, hello, it's really, really good. Oh, oh, that's, yeah. Well, um, final thoughts, final thoughts. Um, Trinity Vapor, a new company. And I've got to say, these three juices as a starting point really impressed me. They match the flavour profiles perfectly. They're mouth-watering. They're satisfying. They really, each one of these you'd be more than happy to go a day on. And not have to go, oh, well, oh, I've had enough of that one now. I'll, I'll go on to this one. No, all of them I can quite happily have as an all-day vape, which is unheard of for me. Not that I'm a fussy bastard, but I'm a fussy bastard. Um, yeah, I'm truly, I'm truly impressed. Um, if you find, give them a look. Severely give them a look. If you like fruity vapes, give these guys a look because for a start out, that's outstanding. They've gone for the proper route. They've gone through the TPD compliancy. The boxes are gorgeous. They're well made. They're well put together. All right, like I said, we all know that after you've had a couple of these, people aren't going to go, cool, look at that box. It's really good. They're going to go like that, and they're going to go like that, and they're going to shut the boxes, just keep the balls. <coughs> but unfortunately, due to TPD law, we've got to have them. But compared to the rest of the world, we could have had it a lot worse. Let's put it this way, we've still got a chance of an industry here. America are potentially looking at a lot of their industry just going... <laughs> so, I know TBD is a pain in the arse. I know there are stupid things in it. I know there are things that contradict each other. And I know there are things that... There's absolutely no point in them being in there. But we can work with it. it can, we, we, there, there are ways to work with it. And there are a few areas to work kind of around it, but still keep within it. So anyway, that leaves me, all these we do now is on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the Department of Inhaled Vapors, to wish you all a very good day. If you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. I should be back soon with some more reviews. I don't know if you can just see behind me, but um, I've got um, a part of the Vape Jam haul behind me that um, will be coming up for review in the next couple of weeks. So, see you later, people.